Hello you, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another cozy college course. Today, people, I'm going to be showing you how to do a double coaster station. This one has two lovely stations going into one single track in this case. You can also kind of adapt this if you want a dueling coaster. So if you want more than one coaster, you know, of course, you can adapt this to use that as well. Uh, but except from that, you know, the, the, it's a pretty diffi uh, difficult, sorry, I'd say this one's at least a medium, maybe a hard, actually, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say a hard because it's quite a long video, this one probably in quite a big build. But except from that, guys, let's get on with it and let's get showing you how to build this. Right then, so here we are people. I have actually had to expand out the tutorial area today. <laughs> you can see we've kind of lost one of our hills right here, but that's because this is such a massive build. Now you can see right here, it's fairly basic, uh, but of course, you know, I want this to be easy for anyone to build, not just me, you know, because obviously I'm a bit of a... Uh, uh, you, you know, the, the, I want this to be able to be accessible by everyone and hopefully this should be just about accessible But you can see here. It's kind of a basic sort of wood uh, sort of I guess uh, Cabin maybe style uh, Station right here. You can see you've got your two entrances here and you've got your two exit right here going up into your chain lift. But anyway, people, what I recommend you doing, as always here, is setting up an area. So what we're going to do here is, as you can see, our area today is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's pretty much an exact square. So I'm going to quickly just fill all this in here, guys, and I will see you in just a second. So there you go guys, as you can see we've got our lovely grid right here, a lovely 9x9 nine nine area. Now what we've basically done here is I've used just concrete and ice right here. So we've got a nice white and grey thing here, although of course feel free to use any colours you want. Anyway people, let's get on with this here. So, first of all we're what we're going to do is we're going to lay out some stuff here. So to start off with, we're just going to use a wall brick right here. You don't have to change the colour, but that's the colour if you're interested. You could of course change it if you want, but for this we're just going to use this. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 like this. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3 like so. Then we're going to come out by 1. Then we're going to go 1, 2, 3. Go in by 1. Go out, 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 ooh, sorry, go out by 3. And then of course we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 across. And then on this other side here, we're going to basically just duplicate it because of course we're going to have our entrance for this coaster, for this entrance here over here, and for this coaster entrance over here. Now of course the game doesn't actually uh, have proper switch tracks, so you can't actually have two working coasters here. So what I recommend you do, it, uh, do in this case, what it normally have is you'd have one queue and then it'd split off maybe like over here or something. So you have one going there, one going there, and maybe just have the the guests go this way and just have this as kind of like decoration. Because let's be honest. Um, you can't actually make this really work, although you can technically make this work, which I'll show you a little bit later on if you're interested in how to actually properly make this work. But anyway, we're not going to worry about that right now. What we next want to do, we want to just use our eyedropper here, tool here, get that. And we're just going to use our bricks like so, like so, like so, and like so. And this is what we've basically got so far. Above you can see it like this. From this way, you can see it like that. Pretty simple so far. Next thing, what we're going to do, we're going to get our coins in. So we're going to just type in coin, as you can see right there. It's a very hard way, uh, name, I think you need to spell, but you can see it right there. And we're just going to place one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. And then as well as that, we're going to get this straight one here that isn't around the corner. And we're going to place one right here, right here, right here, and right here. And that's basically all of our stone area done right here. Pretty simple, hey? So next what we're going to do is we're going to get all our paths in. So we're going to use just path concrete here. Now it's completely up to you what you use, but in this case I'm just going to use some path concrete. So we're just going to place our path down, turn off our curbs right here, and we're just going to place that there and there. And then of course we need to actually have some paths here, so we're just going to do like this. We're going to turn off our curbs, although of course feel free to turn on curbs down on this bottom part, although I'm not going to in this case. Uh, just make sure that you have it off here, because if not, it'll look a bit weird when we do this. But you have that path there, you have that path there, and then up here, what we want to do is just add two paths, like so, as you can see right there. If I actually, sorry, just one path, like so. You don't need to add a second path because of uh, the exit. So you can see you add one path there, one path there. Next then what we do, oops, sorry, <laughs> let me get rid of that there. Next then what we do is we use our Q paths right here. So we're going to, of course, use just a ramp like so, and just a concrete finger like there. I'm of course going to turn off my curve and my fence, although of course, feel free to turn that on. Although actually I actually had to turn off the fence, so I'm going to show you how to do this custom fence right here. But of course that's completely up to you, and I'm just going to paint mine grey, grey and grey, because that's normally what I do here. And we're just going to put that all the way across there, all the way there. 
And of course, we're just going to put a ramp like so. Pretty simple. And then finally, of course, we need to actually add our Q up here. So we're just going to place that like that and that like that. That's that's pretty simple, hey? So I think that's the, pro uh, the, the, the probably the next thing that we want to do here is to add it in our coaster. Now, actually, I use the corkscrew coaster over here, but I'm going to use a slightly different type just to show that you can use anything, any, anything you want. So I'm actually going to use the inverted custom track, the brand new one right here, uh, to basically just show that you can use this on inverted and non-inverted uh, stations, whatever you'd like, you know. So what we're going to do here is, of course, we're going to have our station nine long, uh, sorry, not lines. Well, you can actually have it nine long here. I'm, I, I'm, we might as well make it nine long, I guess. We're just going to place it like so. Now, you can do your station five long, seven long, nine long, six long, whatever. You can do it as long as you want here. But we're just going to match the length of our station right here like so. So we're going to get our first coaster in like that. And then, of course, we're going to get our second coaster over like this. So, of course, we're going to place our entrance right here. And our exit right here, corresponding with our paths and uh, thingies. I should also probably point out that if you want, you can have your cues on the opposite side on both of them or one of them. It doesn't really matter. If it makes more sense to do it, then sure do that. We're just going to match our color like so, just so we do that like that. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to chuck an entrance on like that, an exit on like that, and just color it like so. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah, that, I'd, I'd say that's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to make this seven long just because I feel like it. Uh, just because if not, it'll annoy me. Like, yes, this station is way too long for this car, but if you actually make this, like, five here, uh, it should be able to fit. Oh, well. If you make it four, it'll fit two, apparently. So, you know, if you feel like doing that, there you go. But anyway, Raz, what we're going to do is we're going to get the rest of the paths in. Now, you can just use normal paths, but in this case, I'm actually going to use some primitives right here because it means that they won't be walking on it and they won't get stuck in the entrance. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get a primitive cuboid. We're just going to go on Enabled on um on a uh, use position build mode we're gonna click and then what we're gonna do is set our move to no snapping and we're basically just gonna bring it up to about the height of the path right here as you can see it doesn't have to be perfect although you know the, the closer the better and to make our life a bit easier we're just gonna go into custom snapping and do two you can just use default snapping here don't get me wrong but uh, this means that it moves on the grid, which will be much easier. Now, if you're using one of these ones right here, of course, you will need to put like paths underneath it because we're using an inverted coaster. It actually has this thing at the bottom right here, of course. Oh crap, I've actually just opened that. It has the uh, lovely floor already at the bottom there, so just feel free to use that. Of course, if you'd like to, uh, you can, you know, uh, go a little bit more advanced here um, and, you know, add, add a floor or whatever, I don't know. Uh, but we're not gonna bother about that right now. I'm also going to show you how to add some turnstiles and stuff like that, because you see right here, this is fairly bland, but what, we're going, what we will show you how to do is add some turnstiles onto here, of course, but that's not what we're going to do right now, because right now we just want to get the actual basics of the station in, and then I'll show you the extras that you can kind of add in to make it look a little bit more like a real station a little bit later on, because of course, not everyone will want to do that, and not everyone will understand how to do that, and just wants to build a simple entrance. So we're just going to chuck in all of this right here. We're just going to paint this all the same color that we did our path. Of course, this could be pebble, it could be marble, it could be grass, it could be... Well, God, I don't know why you have grass, but it could be any of these materials, just as long as it matches your path, of course. And then you'll see everything blends in lovely, like so. Now then, what we're going to do is we're actually going to sort out these coasters here, just so we can make a bit more sense. So we're going to go into our edit here, and I'm going to have the working coaster be on the left-hand side here. So we're going to do a little one like that, like a little S-bend, uh, another S-bend like that. And then, of course, you can then go up and do your uh, chain lift or whatever you want to do after this, you know. Um, and then for the other one here, this one's slightly more difficult because we want to have an S-bend like this. And then what we're going to do is just duplicate it. You place it like this just to the, uh, right, uh, to the um, you know, just like that. And you just build a chicane like that, a, a chicane like that, or just an S, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't know what that's called. I think it's called a chicane. And there you go, guys. You've got your lovely little something you like there. Now, it doesn't look great because these are inverted, but if you really want to go the extra mile, you can add some rails and stuff underneath to make it look like a proper transfer track. If you guys want to see a transfer track tutorial, tell me down below, and you can, of course, use transfer tracks for this and anything else. So if you're interested, you know, tell me down below in the comments, leave a comment saying you want to see a transfer track tutorial, and I'll show you how to do that, of course. Uh, you know, no problemo. Uh, and then, of course, we want to do our other side right here. So we're just going to do, uh, we're just going to go all the way there, like so. And we're just going to do a little thingy like that. So we have like a kind of a wide S bend. And then we're going to go over to this one right here. I recommend you just click at selected piece instead of being stupid and doing what I did last time. And then, of course, we're just going to make a new coaster like so. We're just going to bank it in and we're just going to do it like that. Now, yes, I know 
that this link uh, technically would not work in real life because they overlap, so it wouldn't be able to slide into place properly. But it's a game. Why you cry? Why you cry? And also, um, if I was to do that and make it actually work properly, it would make this a lot, uh, a lot much of a harder tutorial to do. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Honestly, I hope, you know, you're fine with that. If, of course, if you really want to, you can go into your advanced editor and make it so this is actually going to fit here. But personally, um, that's a way too hard of a thing to be showing on a tutorial right here. And I'm sure you guys can do without me sitting here for 10 minutes showing you how to perfectly line everything up and do a transfer track and all that sort of stuff. What we're going to do then is we're going to get some lovely uh, roof trims right here. The colour, we're going to use this brown right here. And the wood, we're going to use this one right here. So we're just going to chuck this basically all the way around our place right here. We're just going to turn off precision build mode just because it'll be a bit easier. We're going to hold shift and we're just going to place this all the way around like here. Next thing what we want is these little corner ones right here. We're going to get the same colour. Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, that was in, that's still in concrete, isn't it? Sorry about that. We're going to get these little corners here. I'm going to chuck a corner right there, a corner right there, a corner right there. No, not a corner right there, sorry. A corner right there and a corner right there. And speaking of these little ramp areas here, we do actually need to add obviously bits on here so we're going to color these the same we're going to have wood and we're going to have this like this we're going to turn that around place that there same with this we're going to place that there and then we're going to get our other trims right here of course we're going to call them wood and like this we're going to chuck that there and we're going to chuck that there like so and you can see we've got our all of our lovely outer rims in right there guys epic so next guys i reckon well first of all let's just quickly get these fences in right here so they just go like that and they just go like that and they just go like that, and they just go like that. Honestly, that's up to you. What you do here, because obviously it's a queue, you can use whatever fence you want around your entire place. But then, uh, speaking of fences, we're going to get these old fences in right here. So we're going to use this one right here. Of course, we're going to use the same colour, this one right here. Pretty much all wood in this entire build is this exact colour right here. So you're fine to basically just use this in any case as well as something wooden. Uh, so we're just going to place one like this, one like this, one like this this one like this and then of course we're going to get the same type of fence and we're just going to go all the way around like so so we're going to go around like that round like so round like so round like so round like so round like that just there and then in the middle you can see we can place two but not with these ones right here because basically the game hates everything and you can't place these off grid so what i actually do right here is i get some primitive cuboid poles right here call them of course wood and then i what i think i did here is we place them like this and then on like a quarter grid like uh so if we just add three either side and then we can just um you know go like this um put it on a quarter bring it up a bit rotate it round place it like that like that and like that and then of course you can just duplicate this over to the other side like i said really you don't need to do this oh that's not gonna line up why is that not lined up that's a bit annoying isn't it guys i'm not gonna lie it's kind of a bit annoying but oh well we move uh so we're just gonna place one like this uh like this 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 there we go really you could build this a little bit closer here you could add an extra one in fact instead of just adding three in fact actually i think i had an extra one here oh no actually i placed them further apart over there although i think i went onto a custom grid I can't remember and that's just gonna make this much harder for you guys but honestly build this out as far as you want here you can really build this out until about there because keep in mind guys that obviously you need to leave room for the coaster to go through but at the same time well this one over here is right up against it unless you do a custom uh, fence right there so really it doesn't matter where you put it in fact we're going to expand these ones just out a little bit more over here as well just to make it match onto the other side and you can see that it looks pretty nice if you do want to obviously do a custom distance so they look the same as these other fences feel free to but i'm not going to go through that today just because it's a lot of work and also well what's the point hey it's kind of like the same thing you can't really tell the difference from far away at least so who cares really so then next what we're going to do guys let's get on all our big structural poles right here so we're going to of course use these pole woodens these circle ones right here we're going to set everything just back to default right here because we don't need it anything else and then we're going to start placing some poles in here so what i do is i go one two three like so we have another one two three you just hold crawl by the way to bring it up and down right there one two three we have another oh crap not there oops sorry one two three of course it's you to undo there if you're wondering one two three one two three and then we just want to duplicate this onto the other side like so one, oh crap no one two three 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 and one two three now something else to keep in mind is that if you want 
You can actually add another pole in the middle like this if you feel like that's not supported well enough like that. If I actually, I think I prefer that now I look at it. It kind of does give it a bit more structural safeness to it because this kind of doesn't look like it'd be structurally safe if not because it's wood. So actually, you know what, we are going to add a bar in like that, although you can obviously remove that bar if you don't feel like it. That's obviously, as always, in these tutorials. Stuff like that is completely up to you. So we are going to add this in over here just because, you know, uh, I, I kind of like it just a little bit more. It looks over here, makes a bit more sense. And from a realism standpoint, it makes more sense. And of course, I do realism, so you know. So here, guys, you want to add another one, two, three, and a half. Same over here. We want to go one, two, three, and a half. And there you go, guys. You've got most of your big uh, pokey poles. Pokey poles? That sounds like a weird thing, but you know, whatever. That's all your main, main support poles right there. Now, we are going to add the poles going through here. I'm going to do the roof very, very last here, just because, obviously, it's a bit hard to see what you're doing when all the roof's been put on. Although, you know, if you want to do the roof first, I guess skip forward a little bit. That's completely fine. Up to you. But anyway, guys, what we're going to do here is we're just going to go one, two, three and a half down. Wait, no, that's wrong. One, two, three and a half down. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to click shift and we're just going to bring this across to here. You see that lines up with that there? We're going to do the exact same thing right here. And then we're just going to uh, make these three and a half tall like so. Because if you look inside right here, these poles here will actually be our upright support poles like so. So then also, guys, what we obviously want to do is we want to bring in our sideways poles right here because right now these poles are kind of just floating and look a little bit odd. So what we're going to do, guys, just going to go into our half snapping, bring this up by a half, rotate this round. We're then just going to bring this all the way across. I just put it back to default snapping if I was you. Oh, crap. No, that did not go back to default snapping, did it? For God's sake. <laughs> uh, let's put that back to there. Go back to default snapping. There we go. Bring that all the way along like so. Lovely job, Lee. And then, of course, you can come all the way across here. You can build all of your lovely poles all the way down here. And all the way down here, too. Do they actually line up? Because the other ones didn't weirdly line up. They do. I don't know why the other ones didn't line up. That's a bit odd. Not going to lie. But, oh, well. We've got all those in like that. And then what we also want to do is just bring this into the middle. And also, just get all of our poles in like so. Going all the way along like that. There we go. You see that all looking lovely right there. So now what we do, I want to do, of course, is get our poles going well the other way. So we're going to rotate this another 90 degrees, and then we're going to go on to a quarter snapping and bring this up just by a quarter like so. We're then going to just bring this uh, all the way using default snapping over to here, and we're just going to bring it all the way across. You can basically guess what we're going to be doing here, I'm pretty sure. We're going to be bringing these poles all the way along like so, all the way along here like so, and then over here, all the... Oh, crap, I'm stuck. By the way, guys, uh, if you are doing one of these, I recommend you add supports maybe to these beams or maybe it's own supporting because obviously this track wouldn't just be floating through this station. So, you know, maybe add some supports if you're doing a uh, inverted one like this. I did just realize that we left a pole out right there. So let's just get that back. And then, of course, we just want to bring this all the way along. Oh, wait, uh, I'm trying to work out why that looks like it's floating. Hmm. We'll sort that out in a second. But we're just going to bring this all the way along like so. We're going to bring this all the way along like so. Uh, is that even? Oh, that's not the same height. Uh, oh, OK. Well, guess we're doing this one slightly different then. Oh, that's not very good at all. Oh, no. OK, well, I'm just made everything much harder on myself. I didn't realize that. That's a bit odd. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I did that. But oh well. We're gonna lift this up here by a quarter. Then I guess because I've been an idiot. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna bring these all up by a quarter. Yeah, it's gonna make the roofs a little bit more complicated here, guys. But uh, at the same time, at least this has a little bit of space for you, so you can add little poles in right here. So we're just gonna grab our primitive cube right here. We're gonna call it brown. We're gonna of course use the brown that we always use right here. And we're just going to go on to quartz snapping, bring you down like so. And we're just going to bring this across all the way to about there. That should be about right there. Uh, I guess we'll see in a second. We can expand that out. That's one problem. We've not actually added the roof first. So I guess we will actually add the roof in just a second, just so we can see if that all lines up there. But you can see this is far more simple than what it would have been before, because we'd have to rotate it and whatever. And it basically just makes life so much harder. We're going to go on a half grid right here then, guys. And we're just going to bring this all the way along like so. Just all the way uh, like this. Not there, though. Uh, we're going to bring you down. We're going to go like this, this, this. 
And then, of course, we're going to bring a corner one like so. Corner one like that. And then we're just going to bring this out like so. Uh, wait, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, I've actually pissed this up so much, haven't I? Um, uh, this just in, guys. I'm brain dead. Uh, <laughs> oh god. Right, we're gonna have to bring this up by... I uh, just bring this up by... Oh god. Right, let's just do the main roof first. Hey, hey, this is all falling to pieces. We're just going to bring this all the way along there. We'll do this in a little bit. To be honest, in the end, this will look much nicer than it would have looked before, so it's not really the end of the world. Although, to be honest, I am a little bit stressed out because I'm brain dead. But, you know, we move, I guess. Um, so, we're just going to bring in these little roof trims along here. Just so we have this all connecting up like so. By the way, I'm just using the normal concrete colours. Feel free to change this to whatever colour you want, of course. But in this case, I'm just going to use these ones just because that's what I feel like. And that's what looks kind of nice here, I guess. And we're just going to bring that down like that. And then we're obviously just going to carry on bringing this across. You probably know how to build a roof by, by now. Uh, so... <laughs> Probably don't need to show you this, but I guess I'll show it you anyway. We're going to bring this down all the way along like so. All the way down like this. And then we're just going to bring this free across. Free across like so. And then we're just going to bring this all the way up again like just like this. Yep, like that. All the way up there. All the way up there. Bring this all the way down like so. And then what we're also going to do right here like I did over there is just to make our life a little bit easier. We're just going to bring this across. So then we're just going to leave the rest of the roof for now just because we have these lovely dormers and stuff on top. But what we're going to work on is this area right here. Now, this is going to look a little bit mad underneath. Uh, but to be honest, it'll look nice from the outside. So is it really the end of the world? No, not really. Uh, so we're just going to place one like so. And place one like so. You wonder what I did right there? Actually, ooh. <laughs> no, we don't want to place that there, Joshua. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to line it up. And then we're just going to move it on along by one. Of course, we're still on a half grid right here. We're just going to place that like that. We're going to place that there, place that there. Then we're going to bring you up, bring you up like that, bring that there, bring that there. And there we go then, people. That should look pretty lovely right there. You can also lower this all by one like so. I'm just going to show you that because uh, actually, yeah, if you lower that by one like so, that does look just a little bit nicer there. You can see how that looks right like so. And then that'll come over like that. But of course, up to you guys. We're just going to place that a half like that. And we're also maybe going to bring this out by just a half more like so. Just because I think that'll look a little bit nicer here, guys. Hey, I think that'll just look a little bit nicer. So we're going to lower this by just one like so. Uh, we're going to shift that. Uh, hang on. Do we want it? Yeah, we want to lower that just by one. Bring that like that. Bring that out by one and a half like so. Um, do the exact same there. We're going to bring this. Oh, God. Not that. Not by that much. We're going to bring this up by one, two, three, four like so. And we're just going to place this there, 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 and there. And there you go, guys. There's the other roof in like so. And then, of course, guys, what we're going to do, let's just see. Yeah, that goes one, two, and then it's there. Okay, so right here then, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to start doing our little dormers here. So we're just going to get a little corner one like so. Place that like that. Place that like that. Uh, one, two, place that like, like that. Place this here like one, two, like that. Place this by here. Pl uh, Plant by here, right here, place this right here, place this right there, and place that like that. And then what we're going to do is above that, we're just going to bring in these normal ones all the way along like so, and all the way along like so. So there you go, guys. You've got all of that roof in there, except for obviously these, which we're just chucking out. That just goes like that, 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 uh, that, that, uh, that, that. There you go. And that's basically all of our roofing like that, guys. Of course, we want to chuck in all our roof trims, so we're just going to quickly sort all of that out right here. So, of course, just put your roof trims in like this, uh, just across your roof like so. And then we have some lovely beams to sort out underneath all of this now because I'm brain dead and did the wrong design. Hey, hey, I'm so smart. Um, like that, excuse me. We're going to place that like that. Place that like that. And then I've lost it somehow now. How the hell did I manage that? Place that like this. Just turn this around with some roof gyms like so. And like that. And then we're just going to delete one, two. We'll sort out these in just a second, but don't worry about that right now. Over here, what we're going to do then is we're just going to place in one of these like that. And like that. And then, of course, we need to place in a one like so. Just like that. And just like that. There you go. And there's most of the roof work done there. 
Um, now, normally I would add roof trims to the front of here, but actually what we've done is uh, overlapped a little bit, which is why I actually kind of like this design a little bit more. It's just a little bit more difficult for you guys to recreate, but you know, we move. Uh, it is what it is now, I guess. You can see the inside of the roof's a little bit chaotic, but nothing we can really do until Dennis makes roofs not as shit as they are, uh, I guess. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to place that in like that, by the way. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to delete each half pole off of the top right here because right now um these aren't actually making it all the way up because the original design it would have made sense but in this design it does not make sense so what we're going to do here guys is we're going to just raise this up here until we get to about the right height uh which i think was there about uh three quarters there uh you can see we're still on a quarter snapping right there and there you go you can see that all lovely connects into that like so so now we've done all that, what we next want to work out here is getting these lovely places in like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to obviously be on a half a grid right here, I think, right? Yep, half a grid. And we're just going to place that like that and like that. So we should half kind of uh, go through this one right here and also go into the roof like so. And we're just going to do that the exact same on each one of these right here. This is quite boring here and it's going to take quite a while. So I'm actually going to do a little cut right here. Um, so I'll be back in a second once I've chucked in all of these. And there we go guys, I've gotten all of that in now looking lovely. Now one thing that I did just realize, because I'm not using the same sort of fingers that I was using over here, these beams actually come up to halfway through this window right here. So what we are going to do here is I basically just brought this up to the edge of the block right there. You can see that if I just bring that down there, you can see that's just at the edge of that block right there. Uh, and we're just going to leave that for now just while we get some other stuff sorted out and then we'll come back to that in just a second. So what we're going to do actually is we are going to work on these little dormers here so we can get that done as soon as possible. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set our vertical to a half now. I think we can set it to a... No, we can't set it to a half. Okay, well, we're going to set it back to a quarter then. Ayy. Uh, <laughs> but we are going to be able to set our horizontal back to default half. Sorry, not default half. Like so. So we're just going to raise that up. Click that like that. We're going to put that in there. We're going to put that in there. In right there. And then we're going to turn it around like that. Like that like that and like that there we go and then of course we're going to get our roof trims in like so right there oh crap no <laughs> we'll maybe, maybe turn them around first guys that might help we're gonna place that right there like that like that and like that and there we go now then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get some poles in which are pretty easy here you probably know how to use a pole by now so we're just gonna chuck in a pole like this here like that like this like that and they just look like that. And then we do that on the opposite side, of course, like this and like this, this and like this, which means those poles now connect up even if they don't make the most of the most of sense because obviously they're connecting in some random little poles, but you know, we move. And then of course, we're going to also get our little gable roof pieces in like so, like so. We're gonna, ro well, you don't need to rotate them around, but we're gonna place them over here too. And just here also. And you can see there, guys, we are actually, are we done now? No, we're not quite done. We have a couple more things to do. But we are actually coming to the end here, guys. We, we don't have much longer, which I'm very happy about. See, it's so hot in the UK. Uh, and as you may be able to tell, I'm, I'm very badly sunburnt. Uh, so, you know, I've, I'm in a lot of pain and I'm very stressed and I'm very sweaty and it's very hot. Basically, everything is hell right now. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's great. Um, but yeah, the last couple of things that I want to sort out is, of course, we want to get in some lights, first of all. So what I use right here is I use some lovely little ceiling lights right here in just grey. And I just place them here, like so, just raise them up so that they're halfway through there, kind of. Place them like that, like that. And basically just halfway. Oh, that one's slightly more raised up, isn't it, Joshua? So we place that like that, like that. Um, in the original one over here, uh, oh, actually, that's not even in the middle, is it? No, it isn't. Wow. Well, we're still going to place it there because it makes more sense, I guess, going over the roller coaster. Uh, now, in the original one, I didn't actually place them on these outer logs right here, as you'll see over there. But honestly, I don't really mind doing that. Uh, now, in terms of the uh, actually uh, how bright these are here, you can see if we turn this to night right here, they're pretty much fine. But what we are going to do is we are just going to raise these up to 1.5 and a 30 range. I'm just going to do slash enable light edit mode. We're going to create a uh, quick crawl. And we're just going to copy that to every single light in here. Which means that it should now be nice and bright throughout your entire station right here. There we go. And of course, also actually what you might also want to do is just add in a light just on here as well. 
just so that they have a light in this little entrance area right here. There we go, guys. Now you can see everything is nice and lit up very, very well. Now, one last thing that I've just thought of when it comes to actually building before we get on with these shelves right here is actually we haven't got these in right here. We obviously need to get in our, like, lovely little, uh, what do you call them here? Like, I guess the little gable piece uh, right here. It's gable? I don't know what the word is. But, um... So what we're going to do here, guys, is of course we need to actually fix this kind of here because right now it's not actually running long. So, uh, because I'm brain dead and all that. So what we're actually going to do here, we're going to go on a quarter snapping and we're just going to bring this to there. There you go. You can see it's three quarters from the original. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go to a normal one like so. And we're just going to go like that. Bring that across. Of course, we need to line that up like so. Bring that up. And then we're just going to do this like this. Am I a fan of how this is going to look here? No. Is it the only way that we can do it without having to redo this entire thing? Yes. Uh, <laughs> guys, all you need to do is just rotate like that, bring it back over, and it fixes itself like that. Don't know why it does that. Very odd, but, you know, we move. Uh, we're going to do that the exact same over here as well. We're just going to bring this up by one, two, three on the quartz snapping. Same over here. Rotate this around uh, like 90 degrees. Bring this into the right sort of place like so. Bring that uh, a little bit across there. And then just bring this all the way along. And then go to our center right here. Rotate that by 90. Bring that up a little. And there you go. You can see that's looking lovely like so. And then finally what we want to do is actually get our diagonal pieces in. Why does that look... Uh, oh, that one is... Oh, I've done it to the wrong... Why am I brain dead, guys? Okay, I, this, this, is, this video really shows how fucking dumb I am, doesn't it? Well, great. Uh, let's just get rid of all of these here. This pole in the middle. Place that like that. Bring that down like so. And then we're going to get our, our diagonal pieces like so. We're just going to click this here. It's going to go into a, a quarter actually first. Bring that down by a half, uh, by a half, a quarter. <laughs> yes, well done me. And then we're just going to bring this up uh, like that to a half. Bring that down a bit. And there you go. You can see it's kind of halfway through. Kind of like what we're doing on these other pieces like that. Which means that everything will now nicely line up. Of course, we want to bring that down. Bring that down. Bring that all across by a half. Place that like that. Place that like that. And there we go, people. That's literally all the structure done like that. Um... The other thing that I will quickly show is, uh, is how to do these little uh, sort of like shelf things right here. They're fairly simple to do here, guys, so I might as well show them off. We're just going to go to a quarter snap. Uh, if, if I actually, we're just going to go to default snapping there. Huh? If I'm right, I'm going to check because last time I made a mistake. Uh, everything was hell. Um, <laughs> and we're just going to place these one and a half, right? One and a, yeah, one and a half. So we're actually going to go into our half grid right here. And we're just from the edge here going to go one, two, three. And then we're just going to place one, two, three, four, five, six like that. And then we're going to go by a full grid like that. Bring that across like so, like so, like so, like so. Bring that across like so, so, like so, like so, like that. And then we're going to get a cuboid wall right here. Place those two in like that. Obviously, we're going to call that Grace. Oh, God. God. Grey and... Uh, oh, actually, sorry. I forgot to say what colour this is here. This is just this grey like that and metal plates, of course. Uh, sorry. I'm just wanting to get this video done. I feel so ill, honestly. So, so hot and stressed. Uh, <laughs> who knew tutorial videos would be so fucking stressful, man? <laughs> I want to do three. So, yeah. What we're going to do here, then, guys, is we're obviously going to break this into multiple shelves. You can have this one big shelf if you really want, but it looks a bit weird. So, we're just going to bring this across. One, two, three. Turn over here. One, two, three. And then we're just going to place that like so, like so. And then in the middle, we're going to add another wall like that. And there you go. You can see that's basically what everything should look like right here. As well as that, what we are going to do is we're just going to add some little rope in like so. Uh, actually, what? Uh, instead of that rope, we'll use a different type of rope here just to make your lives much harder. So we're just going to add a rope in like so. We're going to go obviously into precision build mode. We're going to bring this up by a half like so. And then we're going to turn that, bring it by a half, and then just bring that all the way across. And then if we go over here, we're also just going to do the exact same here. Just because if we use this one right here, it will stick through to the shelf, as you can see, like that. And it, it won't look great, will it, guys? So we kind of don't want to do that. So we're just going to leave that like that. What we're then going to do over here, guys, is we're just going to get some rope fencing. We're just going to split this just in half, like so. We're going to bring that there, bring that there. And then we're going to go all the way around, like so. Um, we're going to click that there. We're going to click that there. And then, of course, we're just going to get some of the holes like so, like we did earlier. we place that there. I really don't have to be in, in uh, advanced build mode for this, but oh well. This is what it is, isn't it? 
Uh, we place that there, place that there. And there you go, guys. That is basically everything that you need to do right here that's normal. Now, obviously, I'm going to show you a couple other things right here, which you can also add. So, first of all, guys, we're going to show you how to do some little turnstiles here. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to get, we're just going to search for the ladders right out like this. I'm just going to call mine a slightly lighter grey. That's completely up to you, though. Um, and then we're going to go to a quarter snapping. Um, and we're just gonna go what, one, two, like that. Uh, oh, let's just disable a decision, a precision build mode. So we're just gonna go one, two, rotate it around and place that like that. Then we're gonna go one, two, one, two. We're just gonna place these all in here. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Rotate that around, place that like that. And there you go, guys. You can see you've got like your little things like that. You could also add one like that, so I guess it's more equal. And then, of course, you want to do that on the other side, or it'll look a little bit odd because it's, you know, not even. Um, and we're going to place that like that. We're going to go like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. No, not three. <laughs> uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we're just going to place that like that, that, there, 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 there. And there you go. Now, of course, you're going to have this problem here where this kind of goes through it, but I kind of just ignore that. And if you're not really bothered about people walking on this, then you can just have this on testing without any entrance or exit, and that's completely fine, hey? So that's completely up to you. But, I mean, that's basically everything. Something to keep in mind is if you are going to do turnstiles like this, this is only one, two, three, four, five blocks, really. So you don't want to have your train longer than four or five carriages, really, depending on what train you're using, just because if not, it's not really realistic. Uh, I mean, of course, what you could do is bring these turnstiles over a little bit more and have, like, the exit, uh, maybe have a ramp over here and something like that. But for, to make it look equal, we're going to do it like this. Of course, it's completely up to you what you want to do there. Uh, and basically, the only other things that we have to show off here is if you do want to add some poles in, like I said, you can use a pole like so. We're just going to scroll over to here. And then what we're going to do here is if we just set our vertical to a quarter, you can see here we could add some little, like, metal poles in or in this case we're actually going to just make it orange not yeah we're just going to make it orange metal like so so then it kind of looks like it's supported by the roof of course is it the real uh, most realistic uh supporting definitely not uh this would probably never happen in real life they probably have some more stronger supports here like a metal roof or a concrete roof or something like that but uh in this case it's theme park tycoon 2 why you cry this is kind of a simple tutorial that anyone can use so i'm not exactly going to go into super detailed realisticnessnessness uh just so you guys have it just so it's slightly more realistic you can obviously if you're a pro player probably don't need this tutorial anyway and you can probably work it out yourself even if you do want this even if you do need this tutorial you can probably work out how to make this a little bit more realistic or how to customize this a little bit different especially if you're into coaches or anything like that you can see here guys that's basically everything we're going to show today oh actually no sorry um I almost forgot. We want to show how to make this working here. So the other way that you can make this working here is actually if we get rid of this right here, these rides right there and right here that kind of go into it, we can actually just add this here and just make it like so. Now, the reason why I don't normally do this is because it looks unrealistic as hell, but you can actually just build the exact same ride here. So right now, both this train and this train will take the exact same course. Now, if you're using advanced editor, this will make it a little bit more difficult, just because you're obviously going to get have to get everything pretty much perfect. But if you want to have it kind of like, for example, Galactica is the only example I can think of right now, because it's from Alton Towers. Um, if you want a station like Galactica, where it has two stations that go into the same track, this is probably the best way that you can do to make it look like it... Well, not look like it, but make it actually work. If you want to make it look like it works uh, and make it look a little bit nicer, I recommend doing the other one. But if you want it to actually work, do that and of course guys like i said if you also want to make this into a uh dueling uh track right here all you basically have to do is just well make it dueling <laughs> i mean there's not much to it guys all you really have to do is just do this uh like so there you go guys it's just now dueling hey look you've got two coming out of the same station pretty, pretty easy guys it's just it's, 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 I, I, I mean, like, you know, that's that's pretty simple, I guess. Hey, isn't it? But, you know. But, yeah, it's everyone like, guys, that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank God it's the end of this video because I've been recording for 47 minutes now. This video's probably going to be, like, half an hour. So, thank you so much if you watch all the way through to the end of this half an hour. Maybe 40 minutes even. Like, I reckon it's more, probably about 37 minutes, this video. Hey, tell me if I'm right, guys. Um... So, but yeah, thanks for watching this extremely long, long video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you really want to see more uh, stations in the future, let's hit maybe 50 likes on this video because I don't want to do another one of these. No, but uh, <laughs> if this video does well, or we hit 50k, uh, not 50k, we hit 50 subscribe, uh, 50 likes, 
all this video out as well. I'll make sure to do another one of these tutorials if you guys are interested. But, of course, aside from that, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff. You know the drill. And, of course, check out my other channels. You know, I have my second channel, my gaming channel, all that sort of stuff. I upload two times a week on my gaming channel, guys, so make sure to go check that out. Uh, aside from that, guys, check out Patreon. Oh, sorry, here are all the lovely Patreon supporters on the screen. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. You can be a Patreon for literally just £1 a month, uh, and you get lovely access to early, early access to videos, uh, names at the end of each video, and so, so much more. But except for all that, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff. Check out all the channels, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!